freaky eater is someone who takes an eating habit to an extreme. Kimberly is fixated on ice cream bars, devouring up to 40 every day. I get obsessed over the ice cream bars. A devastating divorce. My self-esteem was decimated. Left Kimberly with a void that only ice cream bars could fill. It's almost like having a lover. Mm -hmm. Can experts Dr. Mike Dow and JG Virgin help Kimberly break her ice cream bar habit? Are you living right now? Or are you existing? I'm existing, barely. Or will ice cream bars continue to mess up her life? You're drowning in ice cream. My mom is a freaky eater. 50-year-old Kimberly eats almost nothing but ice cream bars. I get obsessed over the ice cream bars. They caress my throat all the way down to my stomach. It's almost like having a lover. Oh, God, this is so bad. Kimberly eats as many as 40 ice cream bars every single day, from morning until late into the night. There's times I get up and eat ice cream bars in the middle of the night every couple of hours. When I eat these ice cream bars, it is like everything else goes away. Kimberly consumes hundreds of ice cream bars each month, up to a staggering 10,000 per year. I know that it's an addiction and wonder what's so wrong with me that I need so many ice cream bars a day. I've struggled with my weight ever since I was 10. 280 pounds was the highest that I ever was. 10 years ago, Kimberly underwent gastric bypass surgery to control her weight and lost 150 pounds. I felt like for once I was pretty. She kept the weight off until three years ago when she became obsessed with ice cream bars. I went through a really painful divorce. My self-esteem was decimated. I just collapsed into myself. Then my mom was visiting and she bought a box of these ice cream bars and then I decided I'm gonna try one. It was like crack. Since my divorce, I have been using ice cream bars as a crutch. Weight started coming back on and that just deflated my self-esteem. Kimberly rarely sees her two sons. Younger son Drew is away at college, and older son Stephen lives in New York. Without her sons at home, the impact of her divorce has been even greater. I do think it affected her a lot that we're gone. She really doesn't have anybody else. Also, six months ago, Kimberly moved to Reading, Pennsylvania, where she knows few people. She's alone, and I think that her comfort is eating ice cream bars. She's completely shut off from the world. When I eat these ice cream bars, all I feel is contentment and loved. In just three years, Kimberly's excessive consumption of ice cream bars has affected her health. She's gained back 50 pounds and has type 2 diabetes. If I don't develop a healthy lifestyle, I don't think that I'm going to live to the ripe old age. She's not getting enough nutrition and just eating sugar all day on top of her diabetes. If she doesn't stop her addiction, I'm afraid she's gonna end up dead. With nowhere else to turn, Drew has asked Freaky Eater specialist Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin to intervene for a week of intense therapy. They catch up with Kimberly as she stocks up on a few days of ice cream bars. Kimberly. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Dr. Mike Dell. I'm a disordered eating and addiction expert. Nice to meet Hi. you. We are sent by your son. JJ Virgin. I'm a board certified nutrition specialist. OK. These two people come walking up to me. I felt like I was caught with my hand in the cookie jar. Do you know why you sent us? <laughs> Is there something we need to be busting you for? I eat a lot of these. How many do you eat on a good day? Three boxes, two boxes. Three boxes, so two 18, boxes. and on a bad day? Oh, uh, four, five. Kimberly eats the amount of ice cream bars in a day that the average person would eat in an entire year. What's going on in your life that you need these so much? 
I cut loose the husband in my life. And instead of feeling liberated, I just kind of like went into this tailspin. I went through kind of a meltdown. Kimberly has built a wall of ice cream bars around herself to keep herself safe from the rest of the world. Are you living right now or are you existing? I'm existing, mm -hmm. barely. Do you want to change? Yeah. What are you willing to do? At this point, I'm willing to do anything. OK, well, let's go. Come okay. with us. Come on. Okay. Kimberly is addicted to ice cream bars, eating up to 40 every day. Oh, God, this is so Now it's up to freaky eater experts, Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin, to free her from her eating obsession. Kimberly is putting her life in a deep freeze, and we want her to see that. Dr. Dow went to get something. He's coming on over here. It's time for some shock therapy. When the ice cream truck started coming around the corner, I didn't know what to expect. There was something we wanted to show you. We thought, what better way than to bring it in an ice cream truck? I didn't bring out an ice cream bar treat. I brought out something different. I wanted to show Kimberly what she is doing to her life. We brought a block of ice, and it's not just a regular block of ice. There's something here. Oh. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. Looking up at me was my favorite picture of myself with my children, the happy, vibrant person that I used to be. So get her out of there. <laughs> Let her rip. Yeah. Kimberly smashing that ice is symbolic of this journey. She's going to have to smash through things that she has never dealt with in her life. What's she saying to you? Let me out. I want to play. You want to live? Mm-hmm. We have one more thing we want to show you. Come with us. Oh. The most important thing for Kimberly to get is the sheer volume of ice cream bars that she eats in a year. We've taken your ice cream bar sticks and laid them one after the next after the next, and we are going to walk that trail. OK. Oh, my god. So that's about. 10% of the ice cream sticks you eat in a year. It was very surreal to see the amount of ice cream sticks that kept stretching and stretching. This is a long trail. It was a very stark reminder, this is my life. The end of the trail. 9,996 ice cream bar sticks, 1,200 yards, 12 football field lengths. That's what we just walked. That's how many ice cream bars you eat in a year. Thinking of eating 10,000 ice cream bars in a year makes me feel physically ill. That's 250 boxes, six ice cream bars in a box, 1,500 ice cream bars. That's two months' worth of your oh, ice cream. Months. That's two months' worth for you. It made me realize that I couldn't justify ice cream bars anymore. We have one more surprise for you, Kimberly. Your well, son Drew wanted to be here. My son Drew came out from behind these ice cream boxes. He's off at school, and I don't see him so much. Even though I left home, I still haven't left you, and I really care about you and hope you get better. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Even though my mom is going through a hard time, she's not in this alone. She has people that love her. What is it like seeing him here? Like love. Like I feel like I'm worth doing this. When somebody is trying to overcome an addiction, having the support of the people that they love is crucial. After the shock therapy, Kimberly is very ready for the next step. I really want Kimberly to know that she deserves, like any human being, to be happy. 
I wanted to remind you of what your life used to look like. How does that woman look? Happy. But you were happy because what you were doing in your life. Seeing the slideshow brought up a lot of feelings that I had forgotten. It felt like welcoming back an old friend I hadn't seen for a long time. Do you remember your mom then? Drew? Yes, I do. She was a very uh, fun-loving, free-spirited person. And when you were doing things, you were happy? Absolutely, yes. When we don't fill our life with things, bad things just sort of creep in. Kimberly has a life that is devoid of relationships. So she's filled her life with eating ice cream bars alone on the couch. When you feel happy with your son, there is no craving to eat ice cream bars. Then. So how do we use that information and how do we apply that to your life? It's about substituting something good and nurturing in a emotional and spiritual way from something that really is not nurturing me. That's exactly right. The more we can fill Kimberly's life with the things that are gonna give her a sense of purpose, passion, pleasure, the less ice cream bars she will eat. We need to start filling your life with relationships, with activities. We need to change your own relationship to food. Are you a little yeah. bit hopeful that we can do this now? Yes, I am. My emotional gas tank has been running on fumes for a long, long time. You know, I'll get better mileage if I keep my emotional gas tank full. Confronted by the fact that she eats nearly 10,000 ice cream bars a year, Kimberly is now resolved to make changes with her family by her side. On the second day, JJ tackles Kimberly's diet. 10 years ago, Kimberly underwent gastric bypass surgery, which makes the stomach smaller and reduces appetite. A normal person's stomach is 1,000 milliliters. Kimberly's new stomach is 30 milliliters. That's small, yet she continuously pushes too much food into it. There's your stomach. Right. OK, all right. I knew that my stomach had been cut smaller. I never had seen it in that perspective that it was basically the lid and the neck of a bottle. What happens then when you take two ice cream bars and put it into your new stomach? doesn't fit. When you've had gastric bypass surgery and you overeat, it's rapidly led into the small intestine, which shoots up your blood sugar. And that's really bad for someone with a type 2 diabetes. Now, what did you tell me you did on a bad day? Oh my gosh. I pulled out 20 cups worth of ice cream bars. 40 ice cream bars. Uh-oh, it doesn't fit, though. It was gross. It looked like my life running away out of control, spilling over the edges. You're drowning in ice cream. It's a slow death. I'm hoping you can show me what it is that I need to do instead of that. Right. <laughs> Kimberly is absolutely willing to give up the ice cream bars, but she doesn't know what to eat. So I'm going to show her an array of options. So here is your new food table. To accommodate Kimberly's reduced stomach size, JJ has laid out healthy options in small portions. One of my favorite ways to start the day is with a protein shake. It'll be soothing. It'll be sweet. Mm -hmm. This one's like a whole grain pilaf, soybeans, chicken. It's a sweet and sour flavor for protein, turkey burgers. And this is tuna salad with mustard. Which thing do you want to try? Well, that was sweet and sour, that? right? Yep. I think it's extremely exciting that JJ is giving me healthy options to replace the unhealthy things in my life. What we need to do is make room for healthy stuff. By getting rid of the unhealthy stuff. Exactly. Now that I've given Kimberly some great options, it's time to get the enemy out of the house. We need to empty that freezer. You ready for this? I'm ready. OK. Wow, it's so loaded. <laughs> it's bulging. When the first box went into that bag, you know, it was almost like, take that. After the first box, the other ones were just jumping off the shelves. She had so many ice cream bars in that freezer for cheese that I had to do an extra inspection to make sure we got them all. Now I see one hiding back there. Where? Oh! 
to throw all that ice cream away. It was like breaking the chains that have been keeping me stuck. That's it. Here's okay. the starting fresh. Yep, where's the dumpster? Dr. Dow and JJ are leaving Kimberly with a health regimen to follow over the next four days. It's not just about filling your belly, you also have to fill your heart. Spend some time with your son, all right? Yeah. I want Kimberly to feel happy and like she's living a purpose-filled life. This is a big step. Kimberly has been eating ice cream bars for years, but we'll be back to see how she's done. JJ and Dr. Dow have given Kimberly the motivation to find alternatives to ice cream bars. Over the next four days, she will try to progress on her own with a new health plan, starting with her diet. The first day I ate something healthy, bananas with cereal. I thought it would be nice to have an ice cream bar, but I have to explore and try different things. On her second day alone, Kimberly takes Dr. Dow's advice about filling her heart by spending time with her son, Drew. Thanks for coming out walking with me today. No problem. Drew and I took a walk. Getting out has reminded me how much fun life can be. By the fourth day, Kimberly's will to resist ice cream bars is being severely tested. Over the past few days, I've been feeling lost without my ice cream bars. I'm missing my best friend. I crave ice cream bars constantly. I'm craving one right now as we speak. Hi. Hi. How are you? At week's end, the experts return to find out how Kimberly progressed on her own. So the million dollar question, have you had any ice cream bars? No, I've had zero. Good. No yeah. ice cream bars, no. I mean, wow. zero. For the first time in years, she has not had ice cream bars. That's a huge success for her. You better put your shoes on, because we, we have an appointment. appointment for you. Kimberly is definitely headed down the right path. What she needs now is to feel pretty, to feel good about herself. Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hi. Hi, welcome. You've been working on the inside, mm -hmm. so we're gonna turn it over to her to do a little on the outside so it all excited. fits. Yes. Kimberly having a makeover is going to allow what she looks like on the outside to match what she feels like on the inside. And once Kimberly's transformation is complete. I love it, love it. Her final challenge awaits her. The final challenge for Kimberly is really much more of a celebratory event. We know that we need to push her forward even more. We have a few members of the community who agreed to function as a support group for Kim. Probably the single most important thing for Kimberly's success are you. Let's bring Kimberly All right. on out. Kimberly. It had been too long since I felt good about myself. I felt pretty, beautiful. It was like welcoming an old friend. You look wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Elaine, you. hi. Renee, hi. As well. Okay, oh, good. Kimberly was having a great time at the reception, but we had one more challenge for her. We brought ice cream out in the middle of the reception, and then they came up and tried to serve Kimberly. Ice cream. No, thank you, sorry, but that's just not looking very good to me right now. I, I think yeah. you just passed the real world test. Was that the real test? That was the real, real world test. test. Was that no thank you easy? Yeah. Why? Because I'm yapping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's no room in my mouth for ice cream. Talk more, eat less. You're already filling yourself up. This moment was a triumph. It was a major success. We have another surprise. We had something shipped in for you. You ready? Hi. We brought her oldest son, Stephen, down from New York. Yes. That was the best surprise of the day. 
I'm lucky if I see Steven three or four times a year. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I almost didn't recognize her because she changed so much. I haven't seen her look this happy in a long time. Having all of these people in my life, it feels like there's just a whole world of possibilities. Thank you. JJ and I can leave feeling safe that we have given Kimberly the tools to have a happy, fulfilled life. Before JJ and Dr. Dow came into my life, I was choking on my own misery. It's been an honor and a privilege. And now, I feel much more empowered. I feel more satisfied right now than if I would have eaten three ice cream bars. There's no stopping me now.